Hello and welcome to episode 78 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Macclesfield Town. I have wonderful news. We went to the vets earlier today for our noodle and uh, they said that it was recovering really well. So it's a much better environment than what it was last week. Let's crack on. We've got an away game against West Brom. We've only got about a month until FIFA 19's up and we'll be playing FIFA 20. No time to waste, really. It's West Brom against Macclesfield. I'm feeling it. Bang, Yesimov top corner. Elmo Teti onto Serik Yesimov. Dennis Bliska with the ball now flicks it in. It's Pavel with his first goal back. Yeah, didn't take him long at all to make his mark on this game. West Brom at nil. Macclesfield won. I don't know where Dennis Bliska's gone, but he's certainly not there. So Elmo Teti needs to go central. Papa Sek has decided to join the attack. How nice of him. Pavel. In the box, no problem so far. Back to Tobias Lee. He finally, Dennis Blisker arrives. It's Witten. Oh, he's missed the challenge. Witten. Oh no, this could be problematic. Witten is shaking his head. It's red card. It's a red guy's off. We're not changing formation. It's up to Gall and Roy to keep that defence together. Pavel's on the move. Uh, he's got no one just yet, but that's a great pass. It really is. Seri Yesimov trying to play it across goal. Very well done, Pavel. Tobias Alihi with an easy pass to Seri Yesimov. This is Pavel. Step over and flip flat was lovely. Elmo Teti now looking into the box. Seri Yesimov slightly offside. First time. Pavel heads it into the goalkeeper's arms. But really positive play this by Macclesfield, and it looks like we're going to get a second very soon. When Jackson scores, we're on the pitch. When Jackson scores, we're... Oh! Wow! Wow! If that went in... Some good work by Joseph Brady. Man. Has he been a right back all this time? Ha! Oh, 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 Pavel! Here goes Elmo, Teddy, Serik, Yesimov, where are you going, son? I'll just, oh, try and play it back to Pavel. Didn't lock on to him. Go on, Papasek, you absolute weapon! Oh, what a goal! Papas, what a goal! <laughs> Papasek! Well, that's made it a lot easier. The half-time team talk. Can be nice and relaxed now. Michael's field the rope 2 0. Gall and Roy, free roam centre back at the moment, popping up at right back. Go on, get in. Yes, Pavel! Oh! oh, this is the problem now. We've only got Joseph Brady back. Gall and Roy getting there eventually. And blocking the ball! Gall and Roy! You've got to love it. Oh, oh, Pavel's down. Pavel's injured. That is not good. That's really not good. Everything was going so well. So we'll bring on Mathis, Alsard, and uh, Maximus Durante in that Papasek role. Dennis Bliskin now turning up at right back. This is a team performance if I've ever seen one. Great clearance by Johnny Loder. Oh, lovely. That's a great goal. There's not going to be a clean sheet here today. West Brom have actually got 50 minutes to get themselves a point. That would make everything much, much worse. An injury to Pavel and then losing the two-goal lead. Tobias Leahy could really go for a long shot here. Oh, wow! He hit the corner between the post and the bar. Oh, that's close. Yes, Carl and Roy has been exceptional. It's been put to the log who will hold it for as much as he possibly can, for as long as he possibly can. He's very good at that, is Victor Mathis. Carl and Roy, one more challenge. Oh, he's so unfortunate not to be in the first 11. Oh, what are you doing, rude penis? This has suddenly become a nightmare, hasn't it? Oh, don't call for full time. Well, that is incredibly bitter, isn't it? Wow. And Pavel's out for seven months. So, that was fun. Macclesfield against Manchester United. We are four points behind league leaders Manchester City. It's all well and good, though, because we have Victor Mathis. Big Vic. Come on, Victor Mathis. Oh, yes! Somehow it's worked! Somehow! I'm telling you! Log powers, mate! Log powers 
Victor Mathis is the one. Yeah, let's do a bit of slappage. Slap that leg. Oh, one-handed Maximus Duranzo tackle. That's mine. That's mine. Root penis. Forehand goal, and he's got the best man for the job in the box already. Victor defended well. This is Morgan Collins. Oh, Daryl, yes. What a finisher. Oh. Big celebrations. Oh, Marsman's getting involved. This is all Morgan. Oh, it's not Morgan Collins. It's not Morgan Collins. Suspect defending Harald's side at the back post. Out jumping Duranza. You don't hear that often. Have it again, Tanari. Victor Mathis across. It's Wasim also. Cool as you like. What a finish. Wasim, the dream. No. Oh. Chance for Man United now! 3-2! This game doesn't know when to stop. It's 36 minutes in and there's been five goals. Oh, Diop. Chance. Rude penis, well done. Get back on your feet. Rude penis! Oh, that is a lovely little pass there. Back to the on the wall! Swing that one out to Wasim al Saad. Can he keep that in? The answer is absolutely. And Wasim al Saad now gets into a very dangerous position. This is Morgan Collins on the edge of the box. Hey, well done, boys. That has made us quickly forget the nightmare that was West Brom. I'm going to slightly bend the rules here. Last episode, we did a scenario for Lassie Fenger. If he captains the next game and we win, he goes up by three overall. Now, you might be aware that I tried to record this last week, but with the noodle situation, my head was all over the place. So we scrapped that recording and I've completely forgot since. So we're going to give him the captain's armband here and if we win, he will go up by three overall. And if you have a problem with that, remember I make the rules. Lovely tackle by Storm Roofer, and it's Dumpy time, baby. Many Dumpy save. Well, this is the second leg. Michael's field up 3-1 from the first game. Midfield, midfield, midfield. Help us out. I mean, that's what happens when you don't have a midfield. The pressing's good, and we are the better of the two sides. So I don't want to, like, press the panic buttons right now, although they've got through way too easily there. I mean, where on earth did Dan Axel Kozar get that yellow card from? We give Medi Dompy some stick. Piero Ung is shocking. This scenario's cursed. Cross comes in. Goal and Roy! What is Medi Dompy doing? I mean, this is as close as you come. <laughs> what is the... Thief has done me right. Why has he not thrown himself at that? Medi, go and play squash or something. Football is not your game. Well, hang on. Hang on. Storm Roof is getting sent off. I was just going to pull him out because he was on a yellow card and Storm Roof has got sent off. A second yellow card for what can only be described as... As a little touch. That's not a yellow card offence. Yeah, whack him, that's it. Finally we get a stoppage in play. Kyle Sanger will go in the book, but the subs will happen finally with only four minutes to go. It's not happened for us today. It's a one nil defeat. We have gone through to the Carabao Cup final, but the boys played like a large steaming pile of poo, poo If we don't act now, we're gonna miss Pavel. That extra dimension that he brought to the attack, the fact that his speed allowed Gerald Tanari to get on the ball more. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And there's a player here, Yuto Wada. He's six foot six. He's pace years old. The only problem is he's got a 90 overall potential, so he's not gonna come cheap. But I've got a plan. And if this plan works, it would be utterly sensational behavior. There's a few more on this list that we could try and get if Yuto Wada doesn't work out. But with the Japanese connection and the fact that he's six foot six, he's the first man that I really want to take a look at seriously. What if we swap Pavel for Yuto Wada? Would that even work? Not for Wada, because they're looking for a fullback, a centre back, 
or a midfield player. So we're just going to have to end the negotiation there. But maybe for someone else, we could offload a seriously injured player for someone that is not seriously injured. Okay, second one that I like the look of is a guy called Milan Letica. And anybody, anybody who's saying, I can't believe you've sold Pavel again. What do we do? He's out for seven months. Are they actually going to allow us to do this? This could be the most genius play ever. 50 grand to start off with. That that works, doesn't it? Okay, 50 grand. Milan Letica has just signed for Michaelsfield and we've got rid of injured Pavel. That is absolutely insane. You have my word. As soon as the new season comes and Pavel's fit, we'll sign him straight back up. I've absolutely smashed that. I can't believe it. Take a look at his stat sheet right now. You can see straight away the physicals popping out at your 89 acceleration, sprint speed of 92, ball control 93, dribbling 94. His finishing does need work. I mean, what a chance this is. Milan Letica. Five minutes ago, I didn't know who he was. Fourth round of the FA Cup. And I really shouldn't be playing that many first-teamers. Hold on. Charlton Athletic against Macclesfield Town. Elmo Tetti on the wing. That speed already coming in handy. Milan Letico, up you get. Oh, yes! Thickness. <laughs> Uh, Morgan Collins double junk. I thought Colin Mandeville was at Charlton. What's going on there? I would completely restart the game, but that would mean that I'd also have to do the Letica transfer again. And I can fleece them once. I don't think I can fleece them again. Letica's on his way. Seven minutes in. Milan Letica. I mean, yeah, finishing needs work. Milan Letica, ball in, Elmo Tetti at the back post, Dennis Bliska recovers, Letica! Mm, if only you had a finishing stat, you'd be godly. Oh, it's a lovely finish. Charlton are back in it with an equaliser, an absolutely smashing goal, that one. It would have been amazing to get someone like Colin Mandeville into the club, but we don't have that kind of money. He's probably going for about 250 million. Here we are with pocket money of six. We've gone from brilliant Madiba to Pavel to this absolute unknown. I swear he's got the same boots as what Sunil Edith had on. Might be offside here. Late flag. Morgan Collins coming up the field. This is Milan Letico! Oh, yes! What an introduction! He's making quite an impression. What? What? Bit of a story developing in Youth Squad Legends. There he goes! Milan Letico! Oh! Every day for the next, like, five months, you're coming in early for shooting practice, lad. Issue here, it's only Witten as Chavango Jr. Oh, and Garland Roy. Big chance, Charlton, to get back into the game with only 90 seconds remaining on the clock. This thing looks like it's going to a replay. Letica's dream debut slightly overshadowed by the result. It's not full-time just yet. It should have been full-time. The referees decided to whistle there. It's 2-2. This thing's going to a replay. Don't really like the fixture congestion. But we do have a large squad. And we're not out the FA Cup. That's the main thing. Someone has taken points of Manchester City. Well in the mighty gunners. You might have to help me with that name because I'm saying it like Letica, but I've realised that he is Croatian, so it could be Letica. Answers down in the comments section, please. That's the end of this episode of Youth Squad Legends. It has been a really fun one. Let's spin the scenario wheel. Who's it gonna land on today? That's probably Piero Ung, yes. Yes, baby, please. Piero Ung goes through a late growth spurt. Roll a six-sided die and increase his height in inches by the number it lands on. Player must be 19 or younger for this scenario to apply. Let's have a look then. Is Piero young enough? He is! He's 19! He's already six foot. Now, if this lands on a six, Piero Ung might actually be useful. Coming right up. You rolled a five. A five! He's six foot five! Piero Ung! Shush, baby, please! Well, it's getting very, very, very tasty in the strike department, isn't it? This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.